we are now going to um, put out our NFTs out there in the marketplace. So what we're going to be using is um, OpenSea and then Identify. I'm going to show you how to like put out your NFT there in these two marketplaces. So first of all, we're going to use um, OpenSea.io. OpenSea.io. You can see it here. Search bar OpenSea.io, guys. There's so many sites that could be a um, fake site. So make sure you type in OpenSea.io. It shows you this uh, lock or this, this pan lock here. Then you're ready to go. So all we have to do here is um, come to uh, uh, wallets. Let's see. Okay. Okay. So what we're to do here? Let's let me show you around this place. What you're going to do? Uh, this is my profile. So um, click on profile. Then it take you here. You have to connect your wallet, guys. So you see this is the Meta Wallet. I told you about Meta Max. You can see Coinbase Wallet here. You can see other wallets where you can connect to. Because when you see uh, Meta Meta Max is so we're going to click on Metamax because I've created my wallet uh, and I've set in everything, set up everything. So I'm going to type in my password. Then when you type in your password, you click on unlock. So you can see it has now logged me in because I have my wallet. So you can see it's very important to have your wallet, guys. So this is my page. Going for good. This is my page. You can see this is this are uh, my NFT here. Yeah. Um, but the rest are yet to yet to post them. So how did I post this? How did I go about this? Let me show you what I did and how you can do it. You come to um, create. And you're gonna put click on sign. So you can see this is this is when you want to create an item. This is you can click on here to create an item. That is when you want to create just one item. But another thing is, um, we, if you want to create, if you want to create like a collection, like what I did, you can see that my mine was a whole collection. You can see it was so many. So it's not just like one one NFT out there. So what you're going to do is you come to your profile and you go to my collection. So you can see this is the this is the collection I have. This is the collection I have. I have only one collection. But if you want to create another collection, you want to come here and click on create a collection. So it's now giving you permission to create a new collection. So this is where you're going to put in your logo. You top your logo here. Um, put up your logo for your collection and then your future image for your collection then your banner image so let me go back to show you all of this if I enter this this you can see this is my banner image here this 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 are uh, two guys fighting and then this is my logo that's my logo, and then I think future image with this. I don't really know, but yeah, that should be it. So you can see this is my banner, this is my logo, just like what they say you should what the what the, what the provision is giving you there. So when we go back, let's go back. When we go back, when you click on collection, create a collection, you put your image, you put your logo here, you put your, your image. There's a required um, image a required size of image. So you should recommend that is 600 uh, uh, to 400 so you're gonna put it here and then this too for uh, 1400 for the recommended for the banner and then here you're gonna write in the name of your connection you're the name of your connection you see you're going to write in the name of of um, the collection should be Travis. Uh, uh, so now the collection here is is all about trapids. Okay, so you see the name is taken. Trapid is taken. So you have to like put in a name that you that is not taken. So let's say trapids one. 
Let's see if tab it one is available. Okay, so you see it's available. So you are now you are now free to use trap it one because so many people are making trap it. So um, you have to like make sure your name is is not taken. So you can see trap it is taken. Yeah, whose name is taken already? Then this provision here is going to is where you're gonna put in your 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 URL for your, maybe your website your website if you have an external website outside you wanna put it here and then you want you're gonna you have you're gonna like put in the description for your collection put in description and let's say this and this This collection, um, we came at, at uh, even you at the best drop bits ever. So you, you can just put anything you want to put there it's it's it's, it's optional uh, you just put in the best description so like whenever uh, let's say a potential clients or potential uh, buyer should potential holder comes to your collection he's going to see like the description about your collection so if anyone comes here he's going to know he's going to know that um the whole thing here is just about trap bits. so if you're interested in buying trap bits, this is the right place for him or her. Then uh, here you're gonna add in. This is like um, the category, category for your item. So you see on the music, you see on the art, you see on the photography, sport. So you're just gonna like like maybe on the utility. So this is like the category under what you um, must give it. Then this one's is links here. It's um, just has to do with your extra link for your Discord channel, your, your Instagram, your Medium, and your um, Telegram group. So you can just put your, your basic external links here. So whenever people come to your, to your collections, you can get access and then click on it and it take you to direct them to your pages. So um, here you're gonna create um, like the creator earnings. Okay, so this is this price is gonna. It simply means um, whoever buys your your product and then wants to sell it, you're gonna get ten percent. Yeah, you can put it. You can put the percent you want to get. Maybe you want to get nine percent. It's okay. Or you wanna get ten percent. Oh, ten percent is the highest percent you can get if if anyone buys your bit and resell it, you're still gonna get money. So you can see it's very interesting. Then here you're gonna put up your wallet address, which is already we have already connected it, so it's already here. You just put up the wallet address here. So because that is the address that when people buy your NFT, um, that is the address that they're gonna send the money inside or send the, the token inside. So it's going to enter your own wallet here. You come to blockchain. You see blockchain here is basically like the blockchain. Through which, um, if you don't know what blockchain is, guys, you have to like go um, learn about it somewhere else. But let me just break it down a little bit. Blockchain is just like, let's say, a room where this Ethereum is hosted. Yeah, let's say Ethereum blockchain. Let's say there's like a room where um, all Ethereum's are being hosted. So, uh, this blockchain, when you when you're gonna use an Ethereum blockchain, you're going to have to pay gas fees because Ethereum blockchain is, is, is in high demand and so many there's a lot of traffic using Ethereum blockchain. So you have to pay a fee starting from let's say fifty dollars to two hundred something dollars depending on the market, depending on the value. So uh, but you can get this for free. You can actually like upload your, your item for free. So you don't need you don't even need to pay any gas fee. That's when you're going to use um, Polygon. So you see, Polygon is faster and, and it works. So here for blockchain, you're going to use um, Polygon instead of 
and cereal so you see this polygon token so this is what you're gonna use here then when you come here if this polygon is when you don't want to like pay for any gas fee and I'm sure nobody wants to pay for any gas fee right who, who wants to pay for this gas fee but there's some flaws about this um i might make a video about this i will probably make a video about this if i don't forget so to explain the flaws between polygon and material for now let's continue so here is um, the display team how once um your items to be displayed so it doesn't really matter it doesn't really matter for me you can just click on anything here then here you go to here is for explicit and sensitive content so if you it's if your um, collection is all about explicit explicit oh um, then you will have to like enable it here to enable it here to indicate that it's explicit so um it's not just be displayed it's going to like make a make a, awareness to the people before they jump into the item or before they buy it you know that this one is containing is containing explicit content so not for children plus 18 yeah if you understand so that is it then when you're done you just click this place you click on create here here i have not put anything so that's why it's to show you it's not giving you a position to create a portion to create but if you do everything exactly like i say here then you can actually create your collections then after you create your collection after you create your collection it's going to show you this yeah so this is the collection the whole collection then if you want to start adding things to your collection that you've created you're going to click here first of all then you come to collection here and it takes you here then you want to click on the collection that you've created so you see here then if you want to add item you can here to add item so this is where you're going to add item so you want to add item these are the things you're going to add jpg png and gif SVG and anything you want to add here, anything you want to add, but you should make sure that it's a maximum of 100 MB. So, anything above 100 MB is not going to load up here on OpenSea. So, the name of your collection, yeah, an external link to let's say the site if you have a site or anywhere or your, your um, uh, social media, any, anything you want to do here as a site. Then description for the particular item you're gonna put it. Then collection under what collection is it? Uh, as you can see, I have only one collection. It's with collection. Uh, it's with combat. So that's why it's going to take over. Then on um, properties. So you can use. You notice that in most of this, um, most of um, my my. Let me take you back to so like my collection. Yeah, my collection. You're gonna see. This is. This is a um, cyber and this is rain. You can see it's a man. This is um, Jed, and this is a uh, Sonia. Sonia is a female. So this is going to this way is going to apply to um, to to this place and to this place when you say add item, it's going to apply to this properties. So you can see maybe the character, Sonia is the character, and, and the character, yeah, then the name is the male or the female. So I'm gonna put here is a female, and and the level if it's a game, I'm gonna put this the level of the game. So I don't really know, but it's just like the complex, the status about it. So many things you can actually put there. Then here, guys, this is this is a favorite, this is my favorite part. So when you're making an NFT and like you're making a utility NFT or you're making a functional NFT, this is this is where it plays a important role. So this unlock uh, likable uh, content is just like let's say a link or, or, or access code or key that whoever purchases your your, your NFT is going to get access to this unlockable item. So this is how I do my own local item. When I create when I create my pizza put every game here, 
and I ha I just put in like the short beats. Like the short beats. Let's see the beats I just gonna play for let's say a second. Uh it's gonna play for let's say 30 seconds. So if you're interested in the beats, play for 30 seconds, you want to get the whole beats, then this is where I'm gonna put in like like um the, the the link to where you're going to get the full beats when you purchase that item when you purchase that my and that's my nft so that is how it is guys it's, it's actually very simple to do so here you're going to put in like is it an access code or is it um, a link to where the person is going to locate your, your um, utility or you're going to locate your functional functionality for the nft yeah this is just where it is then yeah is, is, is the item um, explicit or not you know, here yeah. then here is a sample of the item you're creating you're creating let's say okay you're creating one item but you're going to like uh make how many of the item the one item you're creating how many of them are you going to create let's say if you want to make 10 of these so uh, like what i did i created um, 10 for my own nft so each of each of those um, bits you see there are created only ten. So only ten people can actually as access and buy the NFT. And on the watch chain is on the um, polygon chain because we don't want it to be here because we don't want to pay for gas fee. And yeah. So uh, this phrase metadata is I don't really know what is it for. It's not really important. I don't really know if it's important or so, but I don't think you need it as a new being. So we then click on create and then it's going to create for you your NFT. And when you when when you click on create, it's going to take you to a place where you want to like um, connect your your um your your wallet to the item you've created. So take note of that, it's going to take you to your wallet. Metal Max Wallet so it's just give you some some little bit of uh, things to do to create here. So that is what is it? That is that is all for creating NFTs, guys.